Hi, Salty Beauties. Guess what I got? It's clam bag day. Okay, so I'm really wondering if somebody has done a YouTube video out there for reusing these bags because I really, really like the bag. And once again, I try to take the sticker off and it won't come off. So if there's anybody out there that knows a video of that knows somebody that's reusing these glam bags for something because I haven't thought of anything yet at the moment so anyway I got this today and I got the email saying that it was shipped a few days ago and I said I was supposed to get it yesterday but I didn't get it till today so which I'm kind of glad even though I was a little disappointed yesterday that it didn't come um I'm glad it came today because my husband's off on Tuesdays and I would have had to ignore this bag all day until today anyway so okay let's see what we got in here i'm gonna try and make this faster than the last video i did so let's see what we got mm, what is this called true star will always shine what we got in here london soho big sexy hair josie marin pacifica and oh nail teeny again i like the last nail polish from them a lot. And I have it right here. So cool. All right. What else we got? Oh. Huh. Something that didn't fit in the glam bag, so it just came loose in the package. Yeah, don't look at my nails because I was waiting for the nail polish to paint them. <laughs> a brush. A crease brush. I like brushes. I have a lot of brushes. But. Those aren't all of them. Those are just the ones I use mostly every day. But I have a whole set of Coastal Scents brushes and TG brushes and Sonia Kashuk brushes. I even get them from, you guys can even get brushes from uh, the craft store. The goat hair brushes. Those are work really, really well with the brushes. Let's see. Anyway. Anyway, this brush. Hmm. Soho. I've never heard of them, but I actually was at Walgreens the other day because I had to get medicine for my kid, and I just happened to see this brand there while I was walking around waiting for my prescription. So until then, I hadn't heard of it, and then I realized, oh, these are the ones that are going in the glam bags. So uh, it seems okay. I won't know until we actually use it, but um, if you can see, I actually didn't do one side of my this side. I didn't put any color there so I can test this brush out when I open it. So I'm going to go ahead and it's a little bigger than I like my crease brush just because it's, I don't know, it just seems really spread out. But the trick is, see, these bristles fall out any, but I mean, I'm yanking on it and there doesn't seem to be any hair coming out, but I know you're supposed to wash them first, but let's just try this and see what we got. So today I used Minda Green right now. I wore green yesterday and today. So, oh, this is so hard to do. I'm just gonna. So I use Cities of Emerald underneath my eyes and in just a little bit, tiny bit in the crease right here. And then on the lid, I use my box of ammo. And then in the inner corner, I use the wreath. Hmm. And then this highlight color is uh, rainbows and buttercups. It's just a really good gold. Hmm. Well, I think I like it. And I do have, oh, let's see, I do have another crease brush it looks like. I have this TG brush that I like a lot. It's shorter, but it's got almost got the same width to it. What else? Hmm. Oh, this one. 
This is a Coastal Scents brush that I got. I really, really like this one. Oh, it's a dirty. I used it today. Um, again, I like the shorter bristles rather than the longer ones because I get more control, but I don't know. I'll have to use it a couple more times to see if I really like it. Here's one that I don't like at all. This is a Coastal Scents brush as well, I think. Yeah. See, this one's got that same long, those long bristles, but it's a little more compact. I don't like it as much. I just, the long, it's just hard to control when they're long, the bristles are longer. So, we'll see. We'll stick it in here with the rest of them. And... Alright, on the next. So we got Soho brush. Awesome. I'm not looking more already six minutes into it. I haven't even opened the bag. Here we go. Are we gonna do this? Toss it. Now, still looking for that video of somebody that's creative with this leftover glam bag. Okay. So the next thing I pull out is spray and play. I actually have this, own this. I don't I always buy it in the small can just because I don't use it enough to buy the big cans of volume hairspray. I like this stuff a lot. I do hair, so it's just a great volume hairspray and so yeah I really know I like this. Spray some of my eyebrows. Okay, doing a bit for me right now. I have this little rat's nest on top of my head because I haven't washed my hair in days. So, yeah, I recommend this for anybody that needs some volume and everything. It works really well. It gives you a good boost of volume. It's not sticky or, you know, you're going to get that white crap in your hair. So, that's good. Good stuff so far. And the bag. Mm. Oh, look, the bag's got little stars in it. Can you see it? Oh, and there's Ipsy's name tattooed on the... Not tattooed, but sewn onto the inside. That's cute. I mean, the bag is pretty basic. I mean, it's not anything I, you know, show off or anything. It's just a basic black bag. So, all right, what else we got in here? Josie Marin Argan Oil. Now we all know the hype for Argan Oil, Moroccan Oil, anything with oil. I mean, I'm a Moroccan. I'm a Moroccan oil fan. It doesn't have a smell. And you guys, you can use this more than just on your hair. I don't know if anybody knows that, but you can use this on your hands. You can use it as moisturizer all over your body. On your, obviously, you can use it on your face. That's what this says. You can put this in your hair, nails, everything. It's just a good oil to have all all around. Um, I've kind of gotten away from the Moroccan oil and the Argan oil just because, to me, coconut oil is where it's at nowadays, and this seems to be a little behind with the new stuff that's going on, new technology and new ingredients now, but... I mean, don't discount it. It's great stuff. It just, you know, use it on your face and see how you like it. You don't need a lot, like one drop, one or two drops and distribute it. And if you leave a little bit of water on your face before you apply it and just like lightly damp face and then apply this, the um, it will trap the moisture from, you know, your wet face, the moisture from the water. It'll trap that underneath and push more moisture into your skin. So this is really good for the winter time. So we'll keep that. Okay, I was really excited to get another nail polish from these people. Nail teeny. I really like the other one. The sparkly one. This one from I think it was was it last month? I don't remember. But I like that a lot. I've been painting my nails a lot with that. So what color is this? Ooh red Bloody Mary. I don't paint my nails red very often 
because it's so hard to make. Let's see, I'm just gonna, I didn't even paint my toes because I wanted to use this. But we'll put a, like I said, my nails are really gross. It's really pretty red. I just, I just, I mean, I'm doing stuff so much constantly with, you know, makeup and everything that it just, it's not gonna last. I'll probably wear this on my toes and do the other one on my nails, on my fingernails. It's pretty, it's a really pretty color. Okay, so. Can you see it? It's called Bloody Mary. Yeah, that's working out good, isn't it? All right. Oh, let's put it back in the box. All right. So, so far, a brush, hairspray, nail polish, and argan oil. And what's this? Body butter. That's a nice little size container. Tuscan Blood Orange from Pacifica. Never heard of them. I don't know if that's good or bad. Sparkling Juicy Blood Orange with notes of red raspberry and spicy sweet Italian Mandarin. Oh, sounds delicious. I'll put it on top of argan oil. <laughs> oh, that smells really good. I might give this to my husband to take to work, actually. His poor little hands are constantly feel like paper because he is a finance manager for a Dodge dealership, and he's constantly, constantly got dry hands, and he's putting the little old lady's lotion on in the office just to get some relief from his little, his dry hands. This one, oh, and I messed up the nail polish, look. Oops. Oh, I'm messing it up real good. Look at that. I got it all over the place now. Ah. Shit. Sorry. I cussed. <laughs> all right, that smells really good. I'm going to have to hide it from Gabriella because I know she'll want it, and I'll give this to my husband. I've got so much lotion. So, okay, so we got this. Smells delicious. And we got the argan oil. We got the nail teeny, Bloody Mary. We got the awesome hairspray from Big Sexy Hair. And then we got the, the Soho brush. I mean, I'm not gonna put it back in the box, but. So it's pretty cool. I'm a little disappointed that there's no makeup in here at all, but just a little disappointed. Not, not anything to make me upset. But yeah, um, another great glam bag from Ipsy, and I can't wait to see what. I always can't wait to see what next month has. But you know, by the time I'm already done looking at stuff, I'm ready for the next bag. <laughs> It's almost like we should have one every two weeks instead of once a month. I'm that, that impatient. But anyway, so this bag was called, what is it called? I guess it's a true star will always shine. Is that what it's called? Anybody? 30% off Nail Teeny, 20% off Pacifica, and 15% off Josie Marin, $5 off sex, Big Sexy Hair, and $3 off London, Soho, New York. That's for the brush. All right, Salty Beauties. Hope you enjoyed this video of my glam bag that I got in the mail and hope to talk to you soon. Bye.